All right, folks. I know the last video was not that interesting, but we are gonna, uh, I think this round, I wanna try to get the brakes buttoned up. Uh, we'll get our lines run. I think we'll get this motor, oh no, we're gonna get the lines run. We're gonna shorten our drive shaft, get a drive shaft made. I don't have the pinion angle set yet, but I'm not too concerned about that. I just want the slip and stuff to be right. And uh, hopefully we get a loosey-goosey run with all our brake lines. Uh, I don't know if we'll have them done, just because of the diff. But I think we should be able to, should be able to do all that. Let's work on that stuff. And then I think at some point we're gonna have to look at this rust, but not too concerned right at this moment. I mean, we should. <laughs> <laughs> but let's look at the other bits first then we can focus a little bit under the hood oh yeah inside here what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna fix up our brake line because right now our sorry our our pedal because you can see we'll take out the one out into the car this one way up here we're gonna have to bring down at least in this vicinity if not a little bit more down i don't know we'll see how that goes all right sort of we really loosely have a game plan, so uh, I guess this just got to get started here. Let's do this right away. Oh, it needs to be cleaned out pretty good. Ah, it'll just hold more. Oh, need a little more. Just soak it all in there. Getting a little better. <laughs> I think it's got to work its way in a bit. We'll keep pickling it. <laughs> Alrighty, one of the first things we're gonna do, we're gonna go out to that Jag and we're gonna go steal the brake fittings that I need. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. Should be pretty straightforward. I kind of had a snoop yesterday and I found a uh, we're a chunk of lines. They got these these lines or these things everywhere on them. Hey, look at that, eh? Pretty nifty. Basically bought it because it's got juice brakes to run old hot rods. It's about all I want off that car, but all right. So I stooped around. Uh, you can't quite tell. No, you can't on this one. It's all boogered up, but... And you can't tell over here either. <laughs> I might have to just cut this off and show it to you. It's hard to get in there. I noticed that right here, there's a set of fittings just sitting what I need. So, I uh, don't need the lines or anything. I am just going to murder it off with my Sawzall. And, uh, yeah, hopefully they'll just rework again. Let's find out. I got some of it. All right. Oh, I got two sets now. Mint. Anyway, then. Well, I guess we'll have to see if I can actually get those off. I guess time will tell. This one does not want to come out. Upstairs. There we go. Just not sure how they are. 
We got spares in case I screw this up, but. Yeah, see what happens if I do this. Just trying to see if there's a, a fitting on that or not. Or is this just a straight flare? Huh, this just looks like a straight flare. How weird is that? Alrighty, we are capable of doing that. Let's see. Survey says we are good to go. All right. Well, this is gonna work, but I'm gonna need to make a new mount. I put a washer in here because this thing wants to slip through, but I think the washes are too much. I cut one, I just cut one of the good flares down, but it bottoms out before it tightens up. So we'll have to come up with a plan B for this, but that's not a big deal. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll make a plate that we can bolt on here with a hole the proper size and then if we get rid of the thickness of these two washers, I think we're gonna be fine. Cause this just bottoms out before. You can see right here, this one's fine. This is bottomed out. We still got all this meat in the middle here. So we gotta do the same to the other side. No problem. Well, I changed my mind. Instead of modifying these brackets, eh, we just drilled some holes. 
The plan of attack here is this is going to go up to a union that will go up to my front. Uh, this side will end up going up over in front of the cross member. Oops, I don't know if you can see that, but we'll go up over in front of the cross member around. We'll tie it into this side and then we can go up to the master cylinder that way. Uh, so we'll do all that when we pull the motor out. So I think for now, my plan of attack is going to be figuring out this drive shaft. I have kind of Lucy just set it up here. You can see, <laughs> not really, but it goes here. I feel we're about, I have enough room in this vicinity to shorten it. So, uh, what I got to do, like I said, the pinion angle is not set, but I'm not too worried about that right now. What we're going to do is I'm going to set it down on blocks just so I can get a good measurement and then we can figure out how much we want to take out of the drive shaft. I want to get weight on the suspension because I don't know for sure if the diff as the suspension travels, it goes back or it goes in. So I don't want to, I don't want to screw myself that it's going to bash into the transmission or possibly fall out of the yoke, uh, going through, going over bumps and stuff. So anyways, let's do that first. And then, uh, like I say, we'll get some weight on it and then we'll come right back here and we'll check this out again. I'm going to do is pull the wheels off. I'm going to lower this thing, set it up on some jack stands. So we got some weight and then we can see what's going to happen here. Maybe I'll, I'll throw some under the front too, just to see if we get enough travel to see what's going to happen with those front shocks too. I'm a little worried they're too fat and they're not going to work. I have no idea what these are from. They were just junk I had in the shed. So you can see, I guess technically I could have done this angle fuller and we would have been okay. I just don't know about this travel all the way through if it would have, if this arm would have hit this. So anyways. Let's get it down and my end goal here is to put this yoke in and then do a measurement. Come on. Sticking out of there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, now well, I guess I will put it an inch out. <sighs> Alright, now I'm going to do a measurement from my yoke to the back, and then we know what we got to cut out of the said dry shaft. Everybody has a different way of doing this. Fifty four and a half. Fifty four and a half. What did I grab one to? I think it was right there. Okie dokie.
can see I ground through this edge. But we ground halfway through the weld. That just gives us the most yoke to slip on. I did cut a little of this off, but that's okay. Um, so I did that, I did a slit. Now we just gotta like, try this off. Shouldn't, whoops, shouldn't take too much. Should put in the vise, but I think it'll come apart pretty easy. So you can see we got this two inch now. We should be able to bang into, into here. But we gotta clean everything up first. So we'll do that right away and then smack it together. All right, so we smacked the end on. We don't know if it's square. What I did do though is I, I put it on the ground so the caps were down. So that's how I do it. That way I, I feel it's, it's clocked right. And now we smack them on. Now I just got to basically, we put the caps back on. I'm gonna clean these up a little bit. But uh, put these on and hmm, something's not jiving in there. Okay, whatever. Got to put those on. I found my my burnt bucket of oops of U joint or uh, caps. So I think I think I have the right set. So we'll clean up some of these. We will put everything back onto the car, and uh, we'll start working on making sure this thing's lined up square. That's kind of where we're gonna go. I'm going to go tippity tap. Well, I'll show you. We'll put this all together and then we'll go through this together here. How I, well, because I don't have a lathe, how we are going to do it on the car and uh, basically align our drive shaft. That makes sense. We're going to use a dial indicator. I have picked up a magnetic mount. I think, I wish I remember who it was. Somebody actually sent me. I think it's this one. Nope. I think it's this other one. Oh, come on. Or maybe it's up here. Somebody, I know this is for a timing gauge, but this will work fine. Hopefully this fits onto here somehow. And we can use it to get our drive shaft squared in. Alright folks, this is how I am going to try to straighten my, or uh, align my drive shaft. Let me get this on something steel. i got to loosen everything. Hmm. I don't know that I like it there. It doesn't feel very strong. 
That one feels strong. Let's see what we can get here. Alright, I might have to switch this around. Alrighty. Can we see what I'm doing? I have to be careful because the yoke has some play, so when I pull up and down, see how there's some play in there? But, anyways, we are just about zero, so let's see how to whack our drive shaft is. Oh, this thing's moving, isn't it? We need it to be tired. <clears throat> Try that again. Now if I'm 10 thou out, I'm okay with that. That's a lot. So seeing how I'm feeling we gotta knock that in. Just need my hammer. I don't like hitting it while this mic is on there, but We'll go all the way around to the low side and then we'll give it a, a whack. So this is like the lowest. So I am going to... Hopefully that moves a bit. And it's not. <laughs> well that's not working the way I want it. I guess it did a bit. Oh yeah, did I go too much? Was I not in the sweet spot? <laughs> what, do I not like hitting that? And that took that. Ooh. I may have moved that a lot. I'm not sure. This thing. I have to lock this. All right, let's try again. It's always a hit and miss. Oh, you know what? That's pretty good. I mean, I could do more. Hello. <laughs> I feel like I came in at like maybe a little bit of time that I wanted to catch you before I leave. Hold on. Esther's gone. We're back at it. But I think we're pretty close. You can see when we're spinning. I mean, we can do a little bit more. I'm afraid I'll make it worse, but. Because usually after I weld it, it'd be bad. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can do a little better. Like we went too much, but I don't think you're gonna notice that honestly, but I mean there's so much slop and everything. I'm trying to make it better. I think by the time I weld it, it'll be worse. But we'll try, because we're here.
Hey, that sucker sure does not want to move, I'll tell you that much. Or I went the wrong way. That's what I did. <laughs> You know what? That's pretty good. I am pretty happy with that. All right, what I'm gonna do now is we are gonna tack four corners. We are not gonna check to see if I made it go out of square and then we're gonna weld it solid and say my drive shaft is done. All right, so we got that straight. We zapped it with the MIG. I brought over here, decided, well, I, I TIG welded it because I just like to TIG weld these if I can. It just seems like a nicer, stronger weld, I feel, when it's all said and done. I know I shouldn't do it this way and put it through the, the yoke. That's not the right way to do it, but that's the way I do it. <laughs> Anyways, we got that done, it's all good. Ryder's showing an interest in TIG welding, so I'm going to kind of walk him through or let him try. See how many times you can stick a tungsten onto this thing <laughs> or stick the tungsten into the steel or this thing into there because that usually happens a lot. Alrighty. Anyways, I don't need to put that onto the car right now, so we kind of have that mocked up. So after we're done this, I'm uh, going to start working on running my brake lines and stuff, I think. I think that's going to be my plan. Well, Ryder did a couple practice welds and uh, kind of sounds like he's going to stick to MIG welding for a little while. <laughs> Although he was starting to get the knack of it. Not too bad. All right, I said I was going to do brakes, lines. I lied. What we're going to do is work on this pedal assembly. This thing so far is like it's working as to where it's positioned. But um, what I'm going to do is clean out the floor here. Let's clean this junk out, get that cleaned out. I want to, well, we'll extend our pedal, get it where it's supposed to be. I don't know if this thing's upwards. Oh yeah, it's on there. I think that master's like just bad. Like, oh no, there we go. All right, we'll probably cut this, get this pedal where I want it to be. And uh, then we can work on building a, a bracket or a, uh, like a gusset to the back. Because right now that pedal assembly is only held on by whatever screws, like basically on the firewall. And when you step on it, it's probably going to cause a lot of flex. So we want to attach the back of that assembly to the steering column somehow or to the dash. So when we pull on it, it kind of just, whatever, it's just tight and stiff. This thing looks nice. So maybe we'll reuse this down here somewhere so that uh, everything just looks better. Oh, hey. This car is gonna get its own, a brand new carpet kit when I get to the interior. Anyways, 
Let's clean this out. Maybe we'll pull, nah, I won't pull the seat out just yet. But we need to get all this junk out of here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, look at this. Oh, she's pretty banged up. Hey, yo. I guess we can just put it in, it'll work. It's kind of bummer that it's banged up, but yeah, it's okay. At least I got it. All right, let's start cleaning. Alrighty, if I was driving <laughs> and I had to push the brake pedal, how much do I add to this? If I'm driving, I'm here, that's my foot, I'm gonna go here, that looks like it would be a good spot. Therefore, I need five inches. I gotta add five inches to this pedal. We'll use this paddle. All right. All right, we have that zapped in. It's not fully welded. I got it welded pretty good, but I got to take it out. I want to TIG weld the top. Um, the pedal's okay. It's a little on the high side, but I don't think there's much a feller can do to change that because, you know, at full full throw, it's at the floor. So it kind of kind of just is, is what it is. We can't change too much else. I can't bring it closer to the floor because then we won't get the full, the full stroke of the the master cylinder kind of thing. Um, eh, whatever. It's, I'll make it comfortable, not a big deal. Anywho, we got a lot of uh, play side to side, so we're gonna have to start figuring out how we're gonna brace that thing up underneath there. So it, there's a lot of play, and we wanna fix that. Uh, I think I gotta pull it out, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the easiest way to do it, but I think there is no easy way. You pretty much just have to 
I'm gonna have to just start building stuff. I don't know if I can just do it to a single mount or not. We'll figure it out. Well, we pulled the motor out. Uh, yeah, could have done that a little better. Should have left some chain onto there. Anyways, that's out. Uh, don't remember where I was last talk. Last talked. I think we have our pedal extended, but I got to take it out to weld it fully. What I'm gonna do is build two strut rods going to the bottom of the dash. So I don't know how to show that. Oh, dang it. I started fixing the fender, but I got to fix the bottom bolt yet. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is in a, like a V fashion, I'm going to go off the top of that bracket and I'm going to do a V which then will bolt to the bottom of the dash. So I don't know how to show you behind the dash that. So I'm going to do that with a little bit of gusset, but I don't want to put too much. I want to be able to still get it in my gauges and things if I need. So anyways, I'll probably loosen those off the four bolts, take those off. I'll take this off. We're going to drill these out so I can actually put a nut and a bolt in the back. And then, and then, and then I guess we can start running some brake lines. Or no. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know we got to still work on there. I got to run brake lines. We got to run lines to the back. I don't know. I never actually checked this Camaro diff. I don't know if I ordered anything for this stuff. I probably did it one time. I might have everything in the shed. I'm going to have to go look. Because the pads are junk. The drums are okay. I just never put them back on. Actually, I just don't know what I got for gears in this thing. And it's probably open and yada yada yada. You should pull the cover off the back and check the gear ratio. I feel like there'll be just a million highway ones, but... Those gears should honestly go into my T. My 373s from my T should go into this thing. All right, well, I need to take a little break. I'm gonna have a coffee, go inside, have a cup of coffee, then maybe we'll come back and start messing with some other stuff, messing with the brakes again.
We ran the line, it runs to the back, and we tagged it to the diff. But that's about as far as I'm getting. I'm not going to make new lines back here yet. We'll leave that till I get some new wheel cylinders or find my other ones and the brake hardware. So we got to switch this out, get our emergency brakes on there. Kind of that fancy stuff. Same with this side. Do the same thing. Don't have to work on the shock mounts and all that jazz, but it'd be nice to get these done and closed up. So anyways, we got that over here. Up front, we've done... We got our line here, it's just hand snugged and into, it uh, goes here and across the front. Bit of a long day. I'm just laying the car down. I'm gonna show you what I did under the hood. But uh, I'm thinking we pretty much a calling it a done deal for now. It's uh, by far not done, but uh, it is, uh, it's good enough for what we did so far. So I didn't get as far as I wanted to get these drilled and bolted in, but we'll do that next round right away and get those two braces on and move my brake switch from there inside the car. Anyways, um, we've run our line. It comes up through the back here. This thing, nothing is um, P-clamped or anything, so I gotta wait till I get fuel lines and I'll figure that all out, kind of run them together. This one I did, and I thought this line was a little longer and I might redo this one line because I kind of wanted it to come more up the firewall here and then come this way but it might not be a problem where it is either anywho that line goes under around up to here we t we connect and we do our jump again i think this thing's not good but i might try it but it's been open for so long there's a good chance that it might be junky uh yeah i think that's where it's i think that's where i'm gonna call this one um Next round, we'll kind of button up some of that stuff. Hopefully I got my brake stuff. We can get that all together. We'll finish up these motor mounts, get a little bit of paint. I only plan on painting the inner tubs and this front cradle part. I'm gonna leave that. I don't want to touch it at all. I mean, that's hoagie and I should be cleaning it, but I don't have a pressure washer, so whatever. It's gonna be what it is. But this I'd like to get painted up. I'm thinking I'm gonna relocate the battery into the back, unless with everything, no, nope, it probably won't work because I can fit this vent still, I think. I can still fit this air intake vent, so I'm going to leave this one. That one I'll just close off for now. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to relocate the battery into the trunk when the time comes. We'll have to do a, a run the bucks there and uh, see what we can find for battery cables that we can run that length. Anyways, folks, I think that's where we're going to leave it. I want to uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.